Today on Next Steps, we talk about why you can't rush your relationship with God. Hey there, I'm Elliot. Welcome to Next Steps, where our goal is to help you take your next step of faith. We really are in this together. Now, if you find this helpful and you don't want to miss an episode, hit that subscribe button below. Trust the process. I love basketball, maybe a little bit too much, but I'm from Kentucky, so it's in my blood. The Philadelphia 76ers have a saying, trust the process. They've been building their team from the ground up for several years. Now the team wants the fans to be patient and trust the process while they build something that will last. The critics say it's just an excuse to continue being awful. I guess only time will tell. You see, we live in a world that wants instant results. If you can't turn a company or an organization around in six months, you must be terrible and should probably be fired. The problem with this kind of thinking though is simple. Lasting change requires time. It's why that fad diet helped you drop a few pounds, but you gain them back even faster than you lost them. There's not a quick fix. There's a process. And the same is true in your relationship with Jesus. Becoming a Christian is the most important thing you can ever do, but it's only the beginning. You are meant to pursue him for life. You see, there's this idea of justification and sanctification. And those are two really awesome church words nobody uses. To be justified means to be declared innocent. Now, you and I both know we mess up all the time. We're not innocent. But because Jesus gave his life on the cross for you and for me, we've been justified in the eyes of God. We've been declared innocent. And sanctification is a process. It's the process of becoming the person you've been declared to be. And when you become a Christian, the Holy Spirit comes to live inside you and begins working on your life. The Bible says you become a new creation, but you've got to trust the process. It doesn't happen overnight. You grow closer to God one step at a time. You become more like Jesus a little bit at a time. Having the Holy Spirit doesn't mean you won't have any problems or struggles. It means you won't have to face them alone. If you're a Christian, you've been justified and you're in the process of being sanctified. And I love what Paul says in Philippians 3. He's been talking about how he used to chase after morality. And so many of us do that because we think that it will make God like us more. But don't chase after morality. Chase after Jesus. Paul says he considers all his accomplishments nothing compared to knowing Jesus. You've got to let go of the past. The good things you've done aren't enough to get you into heaven. The bad things you've done aren't greater than God's grace. Trust the process and chase after Jesus. Philippians 3, 13 and 14 says this. Forgetting what is behind and straining towards what is ahead, I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. You can't rush your relationship with God. Lasting change takes time. It's a process and he's working on you and in you. If you need help figuring out what your next step is, hit me up on Twitter. I'd love to connect with you. Never forget, we're in this together. What do you wish was better in your relationship with God? Leave a comment below.